Hey guys, I want to share with you a little bit about how I fit Beachbody coaching into my life because a lot of people, their reservation about coaching is I don't have time to do that. And I just wanted to let you all know we have people from all walks of life on our team as coaches. We have um, graduate students, we have uh, college students, we have moms, we have new moms, we have pregnant moms, we have uh, part-time working moms, we have full-time working moms, we have women who work a couple of jobs, and we have women who Beachbody is their full job. I want to share a little bit about my experience and how I fit it into my life. So when I came to Beachbody, I was already a work at home mom. I work with a program through River Valley that I work from home. So I already was home working, so that wasn't a huge change for me, but that does not mean that my life is not busy. So I don't want you to take that as, well, of course she has time. She's already home. <laughs> Just to let you all know a little bit about me, I am married, but my husband works out of town. So he is gone at minimum Monday through Friday. Sometimes he is gone actually more often than not, he's gone for weeks at a time. So essentially, when it comes to taking care of the house, taking care of the yard, taking care of the animals, taking care of the car, taking care of the kids, that's all mine. And like 90% of my life. <laughs> I also have two children who were born before I met them. <laughs> I don't like using the word stepkids. And they still come. So let me explain just a little bit. My three that I had before I married Matt, they have split custody arrangement with their dad and me. So our schedule is super crazy and very flexible. They are at his house, you know, this day, and then they're with me these two days, and then they're with him this day, and these two days, etc. However, I am still pretty much the primary parent. It does fall to me, because it's always been that way, and I chose to, um, to make their doctor's appointments, their eye appointments, their dental appointments, um, keep up with their homework, keep up with their sports schedules, keep up with um, all of those things, and, you know, take them to those things. And then Mackenzie and Gunner go to a different school. And our arrangement is they say um, one week or one weeknight every week here, and then every other week they're here for four nights on top of that. So with him being out of town, I am doing a lot of running as a mom. I am going, taking kids to this school, and then taking kids to that school, taking kids to this school, taking kids to that school, picking up from this school, picking up from that school, um, arranging all of these appointments and things, and on top of that, my kids play sports. We have, um, I have a daughter who did cheerleading, and now she's in volleyball. I have a daughter who does soccer, and she's about to start cheerleading. I have a daughter who did basketball. I have a son who did basketball and is now in soccer. And I have another son who did football. And a lot of these overlap. So I'm going to these practices and these games, back and forth, back and forth. And I also babysit my nephew, who is about 14, 15 months old right now. I babysit him two, three, sometimes four days a week. And so I have to take him a lot of places with me. So on top of the kids and the schedule and the running, um, we're very active in church. So we have church, you know, on Sundays and Wednesday nights. Um, 
I do do the work from home with uh, River Valley, so I do that. I'm a mentor at Hope for Life, so I go there uh, one night or one afternoon a week and work with uh, my client there. There's just a lot going on in my life, and um, I know that when I say I work from home, it doesn't sound like I would have so much to do, but literally I am running constantly and my to-do list is so long and my calendar for keeping up with appointments and ball games and practices and church and um, things with my husband and activities, you know, it's just, it can be overwhelming all on its own sometimes. So fitting in something else, was a little overwhelming to think about for me when I first started coaching because I thought, you know, I'm at home. I, I work from home. I should be able to do this. But working from home is still working from home. And I'm still a full-time mom and a full-time wife. Even though my husband is gone, I still have a lot of things that I handle for him and take care of for him because he's not here. So we can't do it. Um, I have, you know, five pets that I have to take care of on a daily basis. I have five kids that I have to take care of on a daily basis. I have a home and I have all the outside work to take care of. Uh, we've been renovating this home and I have to do a lot of it on my own. So it was just kind of a, wow, I don't know if I can do this kind of thing. What I did for the first several months. Now, I do work more than an hour now because I have a growing team and I want to be super successful at this. So I do work more than an hour a day. So what I do, what I did in the beginning is I work one hour a day. And at Beachbody, we call that your power hour. And I scheduled in my power hour every day, just like I would schedule a doctor's appointment or a school assignment or a field trip or a practice or a game for my kids. I put it on the schedule. It was not the same time every day. It's still not the same time every day because some days I'm going to be gone all day because I have errands to run. I've got to go to the grocery. I've got to go pay bills. I've got to take this kid for this. I've got to go to the dentist or the eye doctor or the doctor doctor or whatever. And I can't do it at that time. So I would schedule it when it would fit. I would look at my calendar, my little handy dandy planner that I have because that's so essential to my life and has been for years. And I would say, okay, the best time to do this on Monday is 8 a.m. First thing in the morning, right after the kids are in school. Uh, Tuesday, it's grocery day. I'm at the grocery at that time, so I'm not going to be doing it then. I'll schedule it for 1 o'clock during Jax's nap time. You can get it done then. There were plenty of days where I scheduled it for 9 p.m. and waited till the kids were asleep or in bed, at least, to be able to do it. And then there are also days where I do it at 5.30 in the morning because I have so many things I want to do and I'm so excited about it that I don't want to wait for hours to do it. I handle my business the same way I handle my workouts. I have to schedule those too. If I don't, then it will get to the point where I just say, oh, I'm not going to do it at this time. I can do it later. Well, then later I've got other things to do and I can't do it. And then it just gets put off and gets put off until last thing at night. And I hate doing a workout last thing at night because it energizes me and then I don't want to sleep. <laughs> so I try to get that done early in the day so that I have that energy for the day. But that's how I fit the coaching into my life. Now, do I work longer now? Yes. I typically work two or three hours a day because I'm growing my team and I have things to do. But it's never work to me. It's never this dreaded thing that I'm like, oh, I've got to do my power hour. Oh, I've got to make these videos. I love coaching. I love everything about it. I love talking to people. 
I love making videos. I love organizing training. I love organizing documents. I love posting. I love getting on Pinterest to find cool ideas to post. I love looking up recipes. I love sharing my journey and love sharing my meal prepping and my recipes and what I eat and my workouts and the benefits to this. I love sharing about my Shakeology and my team and my challengers. I love getting to do this job. And I always come back to this quote that I'm not 100% sure if it was him, but I think it was Steve Jobs, that if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. And that is so true for this, for me, because I don't work. I don't go to a job and work. I get to do what I love and what I'm passionate about. And I get to do it anywhere I want. There are times that I work in the parent pickup line. There are times that I will be doing some type of work driving down the road. And no, I don't mean in an unsafe way. <laughs> I mean, I may be listening to a national wake up call, or I may be talking on the phone to a coach or a challenger. I may be um, listening to YouTube videos. I don't watch them <laughs> when I'm driving, but I may be listening to them from top coaches. Um, when it snows and my kids are home, I'm working right beside them. Actually, the last time it snowed, I sat outside a chair all bundled up with my laptop working because I hate the cold and I hate the snow, but my kids love it and they were on the four-wheeler, so I have to supervise. <laughs> this summer, you better believe I will be working out beside the pool while the kids are swimming. I work when it's nap time. I work when it's not nap time, I work whenever I want to because I'm my boss. I am my own boss and I can do that. That's the great thing about this. But let me tell you, I know so many coaches personally who are moms and work a full-time schedule at a different job or work a part-time schedule at a different job. And if they can fit it into their life, and if I can fit it into my life, because my life is crazy busy, crazy. Like sometimes I feel like I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off because I'm trying to keep up with where I'm supposed to be and who I'm supposed to have there and what they're supposed to have with them to go to this particular practice or game or competition. And if I can do it, I really believe anybody can do it. We have so many coaches on our team who are super, super busy. Wives, moms, students, career people who work outside of their home, and they can do it. I guarantee you can find an hour in your day to be able to do this. I guarantee it. And someday, if you're a business builder and you're able to replace that full-time or part-time income you have right now, then you can work more than one hour a day. You can put in extra time to continue to build. But to get started, you just need an hour. Seriously, one hour out of your day, every day, you can do that. You can give up a show or you can listen to it in the background. <laughs> you know, you can give up something for one hour a day and you can change your life with just one hour. It's that easy.